YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl, and today is Tracy's Tuesday Tips, and we're going to be talking about what you can do when you can't find inventory to source on your eBay and Amazon account. I get this message a lot through email or through my other social media sites about what do you do when you can't find inventory, and I have to be honest because most times I not only find inventory, but I find too much inventory. So my problem is kind of like on the other end of the spectrum. I find lots and lots of stuff and then I have to house it. So it's kind of taking over my house or it takes over my garage and then I start to look like a hoarder. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that has kind of been my problem. So I had a little bit of difficulty relating until this past week. I took a couple of days, I went sourcing for inventory and I could not find squat. I, it just didn't matter what I did. Um, the first day, I finally just kind of stopped and went home and thought, well, you know, it's just an off day. And that's why I tell people, I mean, some days are just off. You're not going to find massive amounts of inventory at every store every day. And I knew that. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to call it a rough day. And then I'll try again, you know, on the other day. And so I went back out and had the same thing happen. I even hit a good dollar store. 50% off and still couldn't find anything that was scanning for the margin that I wanted to find. Now I found things that were, you know, double, but they weren't triple. You know, I found things that were, you know, two to six dollars profit per item, but they weren't that ten dollar minimum I was looking for. So I could have picked up lower end inventory, but I don't want to do that. I'm trying to choose better inventory. I'm trying to make more money for my time and I'm trying to get away from all those old habits you know that I used to have I've just gotten smarter with my inventory I totally get it now because it was hard and I had a hard time and my thought was well you know it's still six dollars profit so I almost gave in because I wasn't finding anything now so now that is what we're going to talk about today a little snippet of the trips to all the different stores and then intermingled with that we're going to be talking about 10 ways that you can try to get inventory if you're having a hard time my island make there is to it <laughs> trees bike path gavin i knew you were right and that's it and gavin <laughs> first stop panera bread we're going to be meeting some fellow resellers for lunch. This is sad. Sports stuff typically sells well, and this is Under Armour. College licensed, 40%. The good team. Number one. Okay, so it's pretty cool. So the tags, it's 40% off of what you see here. Or if it has a yellow tag like this one, it's already marked down and then it's 40% off of that price. So I just went to the cash register and clarified that because that makes a big difference and that's awesome. Now I'm having to manually enter all of this which is such a pain because these tags are for Sports Authority and not for Amazon and it's the only tag. There's no on a lot of this stuff. You know, there's not another UPC code anywhere except for sports authorities. So you have to manually enter it in. But
We were in Walmart now. Looking at electronics. Also a good category. <laughs> I'll edit. All of these educational books for summer sell really well. So I'm checking out any kind of good prices I can find. In Barnes and Noble, all the bargain books. I'll oh, have this doll say, We're going to chase this corner, Mama. That's Is it a YouTube video? Yeah, that's the name of the YouTube channel. You're promoting another YouTube channel on my no. YouTube channel? No, no, no. Chase this corner, I watched them on YouTube. I know, and we're making a YouTube video. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what's the name of my YouTube channel? Um, Chasey Offenilgo. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those little hole in the wall, sometimes super awesome, to find good things. some super cute things like if you look at that sign that big wood sign there is only $20 and it's probably a good you know three feet long but it's specific to Bokelia so that won't work so I am going out sourcing today to see if I can have better luck than I did yesterday I didn't find anything yesterday and I know some days are like that you know some weekends are like that but I'm really hoping to have better luck today. We're on my island, so there's not a lot of places to source for inventory. We're going to try the local CVS. There's these Huggies. They're on sale for $8.99, plus you get the extra box of $10 when you buy $30, you about four packs. They're going for $11.89 on Amazon. So with the extra box, I'll make a few dollars a pack, but I really want to make a minimum of $10 per product. So even with these specials, two for 12, the low price on Amazon, is nine dollars and something so I can't even touch it on any of these well I only found a couple of things but with CVS I did want to talk to you about the rewards program because with this card I'm able to not only save money on the products I got so I did save I think four dollars because I had my card but then I also got these bucks and so I got an extra two dollars for my next purchase and I'm not really savvy on using this, but one of my friends is, and she coupons and she utilizes these rewards programs, and she never pays for toothpaste or toothbrushes or deodorant or any of that. She has way more than she can ever use. So I thought, well, if she was a reseller, she could really take advantage of that because she knows how to work the system, she knows how to shop it, and then she could just, you know, resell a lot of those items that she didn't need. Go. Do you know what it's doing with Drink coffee? Yes. Is Tracy drinking coffee? Yes, that's all. Spider-Man. Camo. Avenger. Do 
these coloring books are going good. Educational items. Name brand items. These Crayola crayons are three dollars. When I scan them, they're going for over seven on Amazon. But it's not my three times rule, so my profit margins will be so narrow, it's not worth it, even though it looks like it might be at first glance. And I just made this picture from speech of a bit of. Which is pretty awesome. I like that picture. Orange, it just smells like orange. Maybe you can mass produce those and I can sell them on Amazon. This video was helpful to you. Please like and thumbs up below. Leave a comment. Love to hear about your experience or if you have anything to add, other tips that we could all read through you know, when we're having a hard time finding inventory. As always, guys, I enjoyed doing this video for you and I look forward to next video. Bye.